Hello to all. Teacher-led small group instruction through Google Classroom is a supercharged dynamic learning environment. This tutorial will demonstrate how to use Google Meets with assigned students in your Google Classroom and amp up your supercharged dynamic learning environment. While you are in your Google Meet session, you can change the layout of your screen to display the most active content and participants. You have four viewing options, auto, tiled, spotlight, and sidebar. This feature is found in the lower right screen of your Meet session. Select the three dots and then change layout and select the layout that you want. Google Classroom has a new feature that is a Google Meets game changer. You can now use Google Meets while you are in Google Classroom. Yep, it's true. I'm going to show how to use Google Meets in your Google Classroom setting to create small group dynamic learning sessions. Let's take a look at Google Classroom. The settings button for Google Meets in Google Classroom is to the far right, select the gear settings button, click on it, open it up, scroll down to general, and there you see your meets, and there's the link, and if you click on it, you can copy the link to your clipboard so that you can paste it into an assignment. You can also reset the link, and there's reasons that you may want to reset a link, and uh, there's your way to do it, select reset. The other thing you have to choose from is whether you want this link to be visible to students. If you have it toggled on, it'll be purple. And on your Google Classroom banner, right underneath the title of your classroom and the class code, your Google Meets link will be visible to all students. That's wonderful when you're doing a Google Meet session with whole class. When you are doing a session with a small group of students, you don't want everybody to see the link. And so for those times, you're going to want to deselect. It will not be visible to the whole class. And so then you'll just take your link, you'll copy it, go to the upper right corner, select Save. So now in your Google Classroom, it's time to create your small group session. You're going to select Create Assignment. I've already started an assignment. It's called Small Group 1. I have it in draft form, so I'm going to just go ahead and open it up. So now that I've opened up this assignment, I can see the title is for Small Group 1. I provided directions for the students in Small Group 1. I've included written out that it is for April 24 at 1 o'clock. It's guided reading, um, a reminder to have practiced their reading material. And then you just go to add link, right click, select add link, and it'll appear here. This is not for all students in your classroom. So where it says all students, you'll deselect and select the student it is for. Next, I went ahead and added it to the calendar. I put in the day and the time for the students. And then I like to use topics because it helps keep things organized. So this is an assignment for small group one. I've already created the topic, small group one. If you have not yet created a topic, here's where you do it, create topic and type it in. So I want this to go to small group one, select save. Small group one, there it is. I've assigned it to the small group of students. Here's my link. So when you are ready to have your Google Meet session, you're going to open this up. You're going to select Join. And down here in the bottom right corner are those three dots that I mentioned. And you can go to Change Layout and have the layout that best meets your small group session. If you are wanting to present a video or some material, you'd select present now, select the window that it's under, and then select the tab of the material you want to present. 
Um, and just a reminder, you can have the students turn their microphones off so that they can listen and then turn their microphones on when it's time to respond and participate. I'm going to jump on this. And so now let's go ahead and take a look at what it looks like in student view. I am now in a student view of this Google Classroom. And um, they'll see the assignment by using the topic small group one. There's the directions. All your student needs to do is click on it, join the session, and participate uh, with you, the teacher. So that's what it looks like in student view. And so that's how you can create a truly supercharged dynamic learning environment in your Google Classroom using Google Meets. I know you can do it. Now go do it. Have a great day.